In my channel, the third video to last is talking the auxiliary gas of fertilizer carting. If you haven't checked it, please click the video up here. Today we'll focus on the compressed air. You can find the advantages, application, common problems and solutions, and our suggestions in purchasing air compressor. Before we get into the video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me your like. It really helps me out. Thank you for your support. In fabulizer carting, we all know that the auxiliary gas is necessary and plays an important role in perfecting process. Why use compressed air as auxiliary gas? What are its advantages? Some of my customers, they only use compressed air to cut. That is because their mental thickness are all less than 5 mm. Most are galvanized sheet and stainless steel. So here, I would suggest that compressed air is more preferred to thin mantles. But the mental thickness should be against the power machine, like 5 mm stainless steel, to 1000 watt is not kind of thing and although there is less oxygen in air it will lead to oxidation anyway so if there is strong requirement on the cat results especially those that will need more process steps after please choose the most suitable gas compressed air is not the best fit the advantages of compressed air, first, it should be the cost. It's much, much cheaper than pure oxygen and nitrogen in process. Sure, it's necessary to purchase a compressed air system, and the initial investment will be higher. But if the laser cut machine is used for long-term processing, it's easy to obtain by simple calculation and is still very cost effective. Second, is that there is about 20% pure oxygen and 75% nitrogen, so it can make up for the weak points of pure oxygen and nitrogen to a certain extent. Like, it will bring less overburning and oxidation effect than pure oxygen although the cutting speed will be a little slower than pure oxygen. And when cutting some thin mantles, the effect will be better than using pure nitrogen. Due to the oxygen composition, the cut section will be slightly yellowed. So compressed air is generally used for cutting thin mental parts. It's more widely available than pure oxygen and nitrogen, and very cheap. When there is no street requirement on the surface color of the material incision, it's most effective and practical choice to use compressed air. What are the common problems of compressed air in the application process? I'll give an example. Last summer, a customer sadly bought 50 pieces protective lenses from me, and I was very curious as to how the operation led to such conception of protective lenses. After communication, it was found that he replaced a new air compressor, and then it seems that the cold drying filtration effect is not so functional so the protective lens is often contaminated by water and oil which will make the lens burst out fortunately we found the problem in time and didn't damage the entire cutting head we all know that the compressed air contains water and oil if it's not filtered and dried completely in time, when the gas passes through the cutting head and the protective lens, it will seriously affect the transmission of the laser beam, disperse the focus, and cause the effect to be not cut through, and it will directly burn the protective lens or even damage the laser head. 
From here, we can see that the quality of compressed air has very direct impact on the cutting quality in machine maintenance. So we'll offer some suggestions on the air compressors, which do not involve any brand promotion. First, the air compressor must be equipped with a good dryer to remove the moisture as much as possible. In precision filters, with high enough precision can be configured after the dryer to fully filter out oil and dust particles. Second, the dew point of the post treated must reach 2 to 5 degree. The residual oil content shouldn't be more than 0.001 ppm. The particulate content shouldn't be more than 0.01 mm. And compressor should be returned to room temperature after drying, effectively avoiding condensation again. Third, Piston air compressors are easier to obtain high pressure, but much noisy, more consumables, and the exhaust oil is not well handled. Therefore, piston air compressors are not generally not recommended below 1.6 mPar. It's recommended to use screw air compressors below 1.6 mPar, and select suitable refrigeration dryers and precision filters. Finally, we provide some small suggestions on the daily maintenance of the air compressor. Number one, the air tank and filters should be drained every day and check whether the automatic draining is functioning properly. Number two, check whether the operating voltage, current, and oil level are normal and whether the internal joints and oil pads of the machine are leaking oil. Number three, clean the radiators and air filters every week to avoid high temperature and blockage of the air filters. Number four, clean the strainer and the valve core monthly to avoid clogging. Today we summarized the details of compressed air in Fabulizer Carti. If you want the sighting of compressed air, please click the video up here. It's a parameter library. Please write it in the comment below if you have questions. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. See you. Bye.